It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer of Payne Capital Management. And the recent price action in global markets has been very reminiscent of what we used to call the risk on, risk off environment of a few years ago. When it seemed each day, global investors showed up either ready to buy or ready to sell and, and generally didn't waver from that bias. Only this week, it was risk on in the morning, pushing markets higher, and risk off in the afternoon, wiping out the gains for the day, basically leaving the markets essentially flat or even for the week. Now, volatility, if you haven't noticed, has obviously picked up in 2018 versus last year, where we only had eight total days in which the S&P closed up or down 1%. Already this year, we're only mid-March, we've seen twice as many, 16 days when the market has risen or fallen 1%. Although different from last year, the recent volatility is much more consistent with the kind of swings the market has delivered historically. There's been no shortage of news stories to blame or no shortage of opinions on what their impact should be on the market. But remember, political news, geopolitics is what I call noise. It's a motive. And as an indicator, it should largely be ignored. When it comes to the market, you simply have to expect volatility. There is considerable academic research that shows recent volatility has little, if any, predictive value. It doesn't tell you whether the market's going to be higher. It doesn't tell you whether or not the market's going lower. Remember, the stock gods created volatility to keep the average investor poor. So who benefits from market volatility? Well, it's you, the informed long-term investor with a defined asset allocation, a process-driven strategy based on your goals and your dreams that rebalances their portfolio in all market environments. See, the informed long-term investor understands that volatility in most financial media is just noise designed to keep the average investor unsettled, obsessed, and unfortunately, underinvested. 